To help solve this problem, let's try to visualize graphically what's going on. So we're comparing the height of a person on a Ferris wheel to time. So that's going to create a sinusoidal function, a periodic function that's going to look something like this, where it's they, they start, maybe they start here and then kind of go up and down like this. Now the question is asking us to find out how many seconds does it take to go from the bottom of the wheel to the top. So graphically, we could see that would be the, dis the time it takes to get from the bottom to the top, which is from here to here. And the time is th that distance. Well, to help us figure that out, we can find the period, because the period is the distance from here to here. So that means what we're trying to find, the time it takes to get from the bottom of the Ferris wheel to the top, would be half of the period. So how do we find the period? Well, we use the equation that you should be familiar with, that the period is equal to 2 pi over b, where b represents the coefficient in front of the t term here, which is pi over 45. So the period is going to equal 2 pi over our b value of pi over 45. Now this is a pretty confusing thing to solve, so I'm going to rewrite it using the division symbol. So it's 2 pi divided by pi over 45. I find that writing it this way is a little bit easier because I remember it to divide fractions, you kiss and flip. So this is actually the same thing as 2 pi multiplied by the inverse of pi over 45, which would be 45 over pi. Hence, kiss and flip. We switched to multiplying and we flipped the fraction. So since we have a pi in the numerator and the denominator, we can cancel those out. And this would become 2 times 45, which is 90. Now be careful, 90 is not the right answer because remember we talked about uh, the, the find, to find the distance here from the bottom of the Ferris wheel to the top would be half of the period. So we actually need to take the period, divide it by 2 to get the answer. It would be 45. So it would take 45 seconds to get from the bottom of the Ferris wheel to the top and that matches option number two. All right, that's all for this video, and thanks for visiting JD's Preparation.